World news coming from the West are made to create and stabilize in mass consciousness the image of aggressive Russian bear trying to tear the innocent Ukraine into pieces. That is why he sent troops to eastern Ukraine. While the people of Ukraine are living in a constant state of war with their own government since the country had become independent. However, the Maidan and subsequent fascist-run government has become the boiling point to the most hard-working part of Ukraine, the Donbas. The rest of Ukraine remains in the slavery of poorly managed economics. The state is in the deep international debt, and the government currently continues to fuel war machine with its resources, including the strategic gold recently disappeared from the national bank. As the economic result, people within the peaceful territory of Ukraine have to live with the world's worst performing currency. 20% inflation and the deepest recession in five years brought disaster in families and the whole society. The prices grow, but the payments get cut. Recently, Ukraine has stopped transferring pensions to the residents of Donbas. This has made situation worse for the elder people, but affecting no enemies. Or should we consider our elders as the real enemies of oligarchic state? Remember when the top Europe ruling bigwigs has required Ukraine to rise the age of retirement for being associated? They made also the similar in Greece, Ireland, Spain, made lower and middle class people pay for their higher miscounts. While Russia has never needed such inhuman steps from Ukraine as a partner, who should the people believe? No oligarch Poroshenko, but simple working Ukrainian is paying for war, for governmental fights, for their wealth, which they can only preserve and increase with the assistance of major partners in the US and AU. That is why they create elusive images, while the truth remains horrible, life levels fall, thousands get killed, territory is unstable. The environment is more than favorable for breeding the fascist and nazi ideas into repressions, murder and genocide. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.